Um, it, let me ask you about this. You know, the middleweight division. I know you get asked this question all the time, but everybody wants to see a fight Gennady Golovkin. I know there are obstacles to get that fight done, of course. But as far as Peter Quinlan, is that a fight that you would want? That you, if if the opportunity presented itself, would you take that fight? Of course. You know, I think that fight is right now like Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. You know, people got the fight now. You know what I mean? And it's worth a lot of money. And you know, when two guys, two top tier guys, who's done what they done in their career, it should be like that. You know what I'm saying? And that, in that terms of, of you know, considering your legacy and, and putting everything on the line, you can see the cost of Pacquiao versus Mayweather. It costs a lot of money, right? Yep. And um, I'm hopefully that that fight can be built up into that. And you know, I'm gonna go out there and I'm put my best foot forward and I'm come out the victor because that's what I train to do. I don't train for second tier. You know what I mean? My life right now has become a testament to like hard work, struggle, and where, where that can get you and sacrifice. So um, right now, all I can just say is Andy Lee right now is in front of me. I can't focus on all the other guys that's out there. A lot of guys gunning for me because hey, right now, I'm not, I, no matter what they say, who they consider the best, I'm going to get you the payday you're looking for. I'm going to get you the payday you're looking for. And um, I think that's the most important thing why people want to fight me is because I'm not I'm that star of the division. You know, um, Janeta Golovkin is a, um, a sensational boxer, sensational knockout puncher. But I'm by far all that in the star. And one more guy let me ask you about not fighting, but Miguel Cotto's in your division. Doesn't seem like he wants to fight a middleweight. I mean, do you feel he'll ever fight you guys that are at 160? They're telling him Tim Bradley, Brandon Reels, but do you think he'll be ever want to fight you know you or uh, other middleweights in the division? I mean, only he you know he's been in the game for a long time, man. He's accomplished what I I'm by far haven't accomplished in my career. You know what I'm saying? Winning titles in like three different divisions. You know what I'm saying? Being the first Puerto Rican to win a middleweight title, so. I, you know, I'm never going to take that away from a person, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to rob him of his joy and his glory that, you know, if the business comes to play and it's in the forefront of being delivered to the people, then the only thing that I could, I could do is just say, yeah, I would like to fight Miguel Cotto. But until then, I think I'm not going to be chasing him and, and, and trying to call him out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm past that point right now that I'm just, I'm just going to go out there and do my best and, you know, whatever, whatever is available is what's available to me and, you know, um, a lot of people will say, oh, you can speak up, you can call, yeah, but you can do a lot of stuff. But I, I've been doing that for so many years. I did that with surgery. I did that with the best since Kelly Pavlik, bro. You know what I mean? So it's like I was unheard. So I just learned that sometimes, you know, a lot of moms don't even get heard sometimes. It's better just to put the work in and, you know, whatever's, you know, for me, God is God in my life. So, you know, as long as I'm able to feed my family and, you know, um, store away from the store away like the squirrels do in the wintertime. You know what I mean? Have good people around me, man. Get good interviews with you guys. And, you know, what, what else should I worry about? Should I worry about what's not going right or should I focus on what's going good?